Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions Week 3. I literally can't believe how quick these first two weeks have gone. But obviously another weekend coming up, another weekend of football. Um, far as I know, and I will say at the top of the video, as I'm recording this, it could bear again, far as I know, as I just said, the Berry game is going ahead. Fingers crossed it does. If not, I have seen, um, you know, a few uh, rumours going around that Berry hopefully has got to take over. So hopefully, if it doesn't go ahead this weekend, Berry's next game should go ahead. Um, but anyway, guys, you know you know what I do? Try and predict all 12 games. Um, so, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first guy I'm going to talk about is Sunderland versus Portsmouth. Now Sunderland drawing one all with Ittridge the previous week had just gone. Portsmouth uh, beating Chummy Rovers 2-0. Let's go to the Ittridge game for this one. Sunderland uh, drawing one all with uh, Ittridge. That's not a bad result in, at Portland Road. I know... You know, some of the fans probably gone into that game looking for the win. But for it not to happen, that's not such a bad idea. Um, you know, go there, uh, picking up a point, and I've already put them down as possibly promotion favourites come the end of the season. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to stick up for Portsmouth, and I'm going to give Portsmouth a 2 0 win. The next one is Wimbledon versus African Stanley. Wimbledon losing 2-1 to Fleetwood Town. Um, and the African Stanley game was supposed to be against Berry, but it got postponed, obviously. So, you know, let's go to the Wimbledon game and talk to that one. For losing away to Fleetwood, I don't think that's such a bad uh, move. Um, considering Wimbledon are away from home, um, Fleetwood can be a difficult place to go. So, you know, where Wimbledon you start to actually think of, um, you know, it's, but anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going to call this one a draw and I'm going to go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Blackpool versus Oxford. Oxford United lose, winning 1 0 over Peterborough. Um, Blackpool uh, beating Southend 3 1. Let's go the Oxford game for this one. Um, the Oxford game against Peterborough, beating them 1 0, is probably not a huge surprise if I'm all honest. But. Where do you go when you're away to Blackpool this week? Uh, this weekend, lots of fans. Do you go out there looking for the three points? Um, do you go there looking for, for a draw? If you're an Oxford fan or even any kind of fans, please feel free to put your fixture up and what you're happy with coming away about half five this Saturday. Um, but as far as the result goes, I've gone for a 2-1 Blackpool win. My next one is Burton Albion versus Rotherham. Rotherham losing 2-0 to Lincoln. Burton Albion beating Ginningham 2-1. Let's go to the Rotherham game and speak about that one for a minute. Um, Rotherham... Losing to Lincoln, I don't think that's such a bad move. It's just a shame that Wolfram were at home. Um, obviously, if you're away from home, it's a bit harder. So, you know, where do you sort of go from a Wolfram fan? Are you disappointed with that result? As always, do feel free to put your comments. Um, but as far as the result goes, I've gone with a 1-0 Burton Albion win. My next one, now this is the Berry game, and as I said at the top of this video, as far as I know, as far as I'm recording this, the game's still going ahead. So we are going to talk about this one for the first time, especially if you're a Berry fan. Um, 
Obviously, Bowie's game got postponed. Gillingham lost two ones back in Albion. Um, so, because this game's still a bit up in the air, whether it's going to go ahead this weekend, I'm just going to give the scoreline over what I've gone for, and that is a 2 0 Gillingham win. If you're not preparing this weekend, Barry, I hope you get your problem sorted out soon. Um, the next one is Coventry versus Bristol Rovers. Now, Coventry lose, uh, not losing, drawing 0-0 with Bolton. Um, you know, at the Mackerel or the Bolton University Stadium, whatever they're calling it, that name has changed names so many times, I've even forgotten what, what it's called. Um, as a Coventry fan, are you disappointed with that result? Um, you know, gone away to Bolton who are not in administration, but hopefully just battling their way out of not going into administration. Uh, but, you know, Bolton got a point. I think a lot of Bolton fans will be happy with that. Um, Bristol Rovers, 0-0 nil -nil with Wickham. You know, um, so with that one, I am going to give it a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Fleetwood. Now let's go back up to the Fleetwood game for this one. Uh, obviously beating Wimbledon 2-1. I think that's got to be quite confident going into this weekend's fixture. Uh, but as the scoreline goes, I'm going for a 2-1 Fleetwood win. My next one... Is Lincoln City versus South End? I've all, I've already reflected on the um, Lincoln game a bit with the Rotherham game, so let's go to South End versus Blackpool. That happened this weekend, and South End coming out losing three one. South End fans, are you happy with that result? I guarantee you not. But where you? Expecting anything more from your your team, um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going for a three 0 Lincoln win. My next one is Peterborough versus Ipswich. Now I've already sort of reflected on the Peterborough game, losing one 0 to Oxford, and Ipswich drawing one 0 with Sunderland. Um, you know. So with this one, I have gone with a 3-1 Ipswich win. My next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Watchdale. Now let's go back to the Watchdale game and talk about that one a bit more from a Watchdale point of view. One all at home against Doncaster. Yet again, Watchdale fans, are you happy with that result? Or were you expecting the three points? Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone with a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramiel versus Bolton. Now Tramiel losing 2-0 to Portsmouth. I've already reflected on that. Bolton, 0-0 of Coventry City. I've already said they're happy with the point. So with that one, I've gone for a 2-0 Tramiel win. The next one is Wickham Wanderers, and it's my last one. Um, it's Wickham Wanderers versus MK Dons. MK Dons 1-0 winners over Shrewsbury. And uh, Wickham Wanderers, I've already said it, 0-0 over Bristol Rovers. Um, so let's go with MK Dons. 1-0 a home win against Shrewsbury Town. You happy with that, MK Don's fan? I guess you are, but um, so with this one I've gone with a one nil Wickham Wonders win. Um, guys, anyways, the end of my League One uh, predictions for Week Three, guys. If you're going away, please have a safe journey, Barry. I hope you get your problems sorted out soon. Same with Bolton. Same with Coventry. There's so many teams in this situation, it's hard, it is really heartfelt to see. I mean, my club's been there, but, you know, we managed to get our way out of it, thanks to our fans. 
you know, you could do the same. Just keep believing, keep supporting your club, keep trying your hardest to do what you need to do to get yourself out of the situation. But guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.